Distortion Detector DD1 Plus Video Manual Video 1. Today we're going to use the Distortion Detector DD1 Plus to set this amplifier here to 10 decibels of gain overlap. We're using this amplifier on our subwoofer. Actually, let's set it at 8 decibels of gain overlap. Something you can't do with our regular D1. So, 8 decibels of overlap. So, what we do, fire it up the DD1 Plus. Our battery's good. Okay. First thing, when we come to the amplifier, we turn our crossover off, turn our gain all the way down. We take the included harness. Put it into our speaker outputs of the amplifier. Speakers are disconnected for safety. And we plug the harness into the DD1 Plus. We take the included DD1 Plus CD and we're going to play 40 Hz 0 dB to find the maximum clean volume setting of this head unit. Then after that we'll switch to the 40 Hz overlap track and we'll set this amplifier to 8 decibels of overlap. So let's find the head unit clean volume setting first. CD is in, the DD1 Plus is detecting 40 Hz and this is the voltage coming out of the amplifier here. We're going to turn up the volume on the head unit until the distortion light comes on. There, and stays on. So there it is, solid at volume setting 48 and at 47 it's clean. So we leave the head unit at volume 47, we know that's the maximum clean volume for the head unit. Now we take the gain of the amplifier, without changing tracks, we take the gain of the amplifier and we just turn it up until the light stays on steady. At this point we push read and we change to the overlap track, track 3. Now we set our gain control. We set our overlap at 8 dB of overlap. Right. And you can get it to the tenth of a dB with this tool. So if your shop figures out that they want to set everything at 5.9, they can. And there we are. We're set at 8 dB of overlap. 8.1. This pot knob creeped a little bit on us, but there we are. It's clean, 8 dB of overlap. Now the great thing of this tool is that if this customer leaves and he comes back someday with a blown up speaker or something like that, you can just pop the CD back in to track one without touching the gain of the amplifier. You can pop the CD in, track one, start the DD1 over, like this is the customer returning now. We hook this back up, we pop it in track one, the distortion light should be on steady. If it's not, they've tampered with the settings. Press read, change it to track three, let it stabilize and we should see that it's still at 8 dB of overlap. That way we know that the customer didn't leave and then their buddy turned it up. So this amp is exactly how it left the shop. And that'll do it. At this point we set our crossover and send it on its way. Thanks for watching.